Hi guys, welcome to my first episode of my YouTube channel. I'm not quite sure on the name yet, but I will figure that out later. So we're just gonna do a day in the life of me and Nathan, you'll be involved as well. So I am currently five days out from my first show this year, the Two Bros Ben Weeder one. So my calories are quite low, but this is dependent to my goal. So I will be going through all of that today and I have got a training session with Megs and Laws down at Ultraflex Rotherham. Should we do some breakfast? Yeah, I'm starving. Let's, <laughs> Let's get cracking. So this is for Nathan. So he has um, four baking medallions, um, two bagels, five whole eggs for breakfast. Crumpets this morning. Yeah? What? Five crumpets? Five. Same macros. So we're eating very different at the minute because obviously I am so close to stage and Nathan is in like the peak of his off season. Peak prime, whichever word you say. Um so Nathan is actually struggling to get all of his meals in. The opposite to me. But got to do an off season haven't you in order to grow you have this is probably my first structure one to be fair you wanted to get in on the video are Remember the days when my um, my breakfast was similar to this when I was in my off season. I think I was having, if I remember rightly, two bacon medallions, two sausages, two slices of wholemeal bread, 100 gram of beans, and four whole eggs. So that was my breakfast in off season. Um, how many calories do you think I got up to? Uh, you were definitely on about five and a half thousand. Yeah. So every five days I was having five guys, a, a double burger, um, large fries to myself, um, and I do miss it slightly. Uh, tomato ketchup. Um, oh, you're all right, you've got beans. So I went a little bit wild and uh, what else do we look forward to on prep apart from coffee? So um, I bought a new coffee machine and 150 pods to get my free gift that didn't arrive so i had to message them maybe it can have future mr universe so for my breakfast it got changed last week um i'm quite particular in how i make things now um, just to make sure that i really enjoy things so i'm gonna go for the triple chocolate uh, cream of rice, trained by JP. So I have 30 grams of this in the morning. Did used to be oats, but that got changed. So then I'm going to go with the white chocolate and raspberry. Oh, I should have put the whey on first. Take it off. Now I've got to do it carefully put my boiling water on. I do put quite a lot on for my breakfast because then I put it in the microwave and um, I just have it a bit thicker. Feels like I'm having more. I only started doing the whey paste um, I'd say like three weeks ago. Um, when I seen it on um, Jamie Johal's YouTube on his, um, I think it was his day of eating and it's a game changer, I don't know how I've not done it throughout the whole prep um, it does make such a difference it feels like you're having a bit of a dessert bowl so it just goes a bit fluffy, so that is only 30 grams but you, I think with a little bit extra water you can make it go a bit further add in my berries so 100 grams, 
top with my 25 grams of whey paste make sure I get every last bit voila breakfast bowl that one yeah so the first rep of the first video if every rep is like that that's perfect mate so really control the eccentric on the way down drive through really really drive them hips through like you were doing uh, i'm just going to do a little bit of a um, prep update as we were just talking about it. i thought it would be good to catch it on camera and um, so yesterday was my first let's say stressful day like in terms of my feelings i thought to myself i'm not going to be ready so it has been a tough prep and cuba my coach has actually said sorry and apologized for pushing me this hard but needs must to get to your goal and um yesterday i was a bit stressed towards you weren't i nathan yeah um, <laughs> which i'm not normally i never take it out on nathan and i don't take my feelings out on anyone else at all really um but i just had to take myself into the kitchen i sat down and i thought I'm not going to be ready. I'm not lean enough. So I text Cuba saying, I'm just going to read it actually. Text Cuba, who's been amazing. So I've been checking in every day since about four weeks out. Four weeks out. Before that, it was every other day. It's been so good. Um, I text him saying, Cuba, I feel stressed today. So needed to message you. I am going to be ready, aren't I? So you could either say it was me being on prep brain or like me actually feeling like normally in my previous preps i have been ready six weeks out so to still be pushing this hard five days before a show it i don't know it just got a little bit on top of me and i thought i ain't going on stage if i'm not lean enough and if i'm not ready so i just had a moment and he replies here lol you're going to be more than ready listen to your voice now and chill so i replied okay i'll chill he put you got this it's i don't really swear but he put it's fucking on <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't do me um and then i said first day i just thought i'm not gonna be ready and then i put that's what cod's doing to me because he changed my he changed my rump and my mince last week to um fish so when you're on fish and veg that's when you know it's getting serious um I basically i just said i'll be happy when my legs are in um I don't look at my checking pictures and over critique myself because I know how much I've progressed and how much I've transformed my physique but I also know how to look at my physique with a judging eye and I know that they're going to pick up on that my glutes and my hamstrings aren't quite in especially now but Cuba says they will be and I'm still training up until when will my last training day be uh, so it's legs today rest push pull thursday because we don't want to change too much um before obviously ben weeder because my main show will be the alicante so it could potentially be inflammation from training inflammation from my steps um last week however we did have to drop the steps um cuba's decision was to pull back i took four days rest from my steps so i've been doing 20k steps um for the past two or three weeks now before that it was cardio i'll go over that and um, and my body weight actually went up a pound and then the following day it went up a pound again so cuban knew that my body was under stress under inflammation so we took the steps out and i dropped day a pound day a pound so sometimes doing more isn't always the best and you do have to listen to your body um, I have done my steps this morning uh, as my routine I'll just tell you what I've done on my aura ring um, so I have to do 9,000 steps faster before I eat um, so I've actually already done it's 20 to 10 a.m. and I've already done 12,141 steps so I like to get up and get things done early because if not it takes up half your day say if i'm not getting up till nine o'clock and i've got to do nine thousand steps that's like 85 minutes and then cook the breakfast and then your day's gone so i am an early riser and i do like to get things done early but we are going to take arnie out in a minute aren't we so nathan does come with me um when he can 
to make it enjoyable and you like to get your steps in after your breakfast so you can digest your food a little bit better don't you yeah and it does help with this appetite throughout the day so should we go for a walk yeah so this is our usual dog walking route it's about 33 minutes um when we get home um i was actually scared of dogs until we got on in and i must admit he has made my prep a lot easier i would I recommend know. that if you are scared of dogs to get a puppy because it will help you get over your fear and it also makes your walks more enjoyable when you're on prep as well so i'd just like to give you that little bit of a tip so yeah i'm no longer scared of dogs and there's a bike good boy come here I'm just going to make uh, mine and Nathan's meal too. So Nathan's is 250 grams of chicken and 125 grams of basmati rice. Um, so I'm going to do two lots of that for him. So he's got one for later on tonight. And then mine is 100 grams of chicken and 100 grams of greens. So I'm going to do the rice in the rice cooker. For that. Take three, one, so bad. Put some spices on it. Put we'll a little bit of aromat. Go to spice. A little bit of pepper. So, even though uh, Nathan has 250, and I have 100 you can still bulk cook your food so if you weigh your, weigh your food uncooked weigh everything raw then when your food's cooked you do your cooked weight divided by your raw weight and then you times it by how many grams you need so some people say the little number divided by the big number times by your grams of weight but that doesn't always work because obviously rice doubles so it wouldn't work in that case so that's what I do when I'm cooking it so I can still bulk cook it and do it at the same time go for the Polish one I think uh, this is what Cuba and Megs use and um, I was buying some sauerkraut yesterday and I thought oh I might uh, get that Polish one so I did and it's very nice but I do still love Aromat Aromat's my favourite and I've started using this one lemon and dill because um, my red meats last week changed to uh, cod so um, this is what I'm using you know prep live going on to fish or oh, Nathan will probably have Uncle Ben's sweet and sour so I'll get that ready so 26 divided by 600 equals times by 250 which is Nathan's 177 for Nathan mine was 71 then obviously the remainder is his other 250 Nathan's just got back from his haircut just on time for his meal I don't know why that seems so much. Much. How much is it? Did I press zero when I put the, the Tupperware on? Seven eight six. For how much? Two hundred and fifty. Yeah. I must not have pressed. <laughs> Either way, that's all yours anyway. So I need to half just half it. I definitely must not have zeroed it. That does seem like more than two hundred and fifty grams of uncooked rice. I definitely put 250 in, didn't I, Gaz? 400 grams of rice cooked by it. It's, each one. it's not. I must, I must not have zeroed it with the. <laughs> <laughs> so. See? What do you mean, see? Looks lovely. <laughs> Oops. That's me 
raid battle to get that. This never normally happens at all. This is, this, this is, I'm glad we've got this on camera because this is generally what Phoebe does something like this on a daily basis. Yeah, but not with my own meals. <laughs> Especially not with prep meals. Chicken and greens. Chicken and rice. This is needed. Not for me though, because I've not got any carbohydrates with this meal. Oh, I've got plenty. Right, Matt, thank you for your checking. If you can get me a waiting uh, first thing tomorrow morning, um, that would be fantastic. So your feedback on everything is really good. I am going to bring your food down a little bit. Um, I know we've, we've dropped four kilo now since the start, but I just think it's time to just turn it up a little bit now. I do these because Phoebes makes an absolute, like, it, li it literally looks like Pablo Escobar's been in when Phoebe's done it. There's powder yeah. everywhere. But for ages though, I was having to tip it into a piece of paper and fit it into a lid. Like, it's just, yeah, but it's a messy, yeah, messy yeah, thing. But you still made a mess. So I, I've took over the doing the interest because... So, Phoebe's is on leg day today. So when she's on leg day, uh, she has Hydromax. Um, with to be fair, legs and pull, we both have Hydro, Hydromax uh, with his pre-workout and then half a scoop in his intra shake as well. Um, really good product, we've started using it um, just to keep hydration levels up. It also helps with like lower back pumps. You um, was getting that massive. I was getting massive you? lower back pumps, but as soon as I started taking that, I don't know if it's a placebo, but it's really helped. Uh, she also has, at the minute, been on prep and needing that little push, he has half a scoop of uh, Stimimax. I didn't though, until he started giving it me another. And then... Stimimax! And then uh, Vascumax as well. Now onto the intra. Which to be fair, uh, we don't really need to weigh much on the uh, on the intra now because Phoebes has not, not got any carbs in her intra shake. So it is literally just essential amino acids, creatine and pink salt. There we go. So that's Phoebe's intro done. So the products that we use at the minute, um, we use uh, Strom Sports for a lot of stuff with his intras, which is from it, we get that from Insight Supplements. So it's a really good, really good product. We use all, a lot of JP stuff as well. Uh, Way I select uh, the cream of rice, uh, all the health products, the Vital Support, Insure, Love Heart. That's all from JP, uh, the join in as well. But we've got a very wide array of supplements in there. For his creatine and for his car powders, we just use bulk powders. It's pretty, pretty simple. Uh, and it's it's all the same, really. Okay, so I'm just going to do my post-workout first, just because then my pre-workout's still a little bit warm. So I'll make this up before I go to the gym, so I can just eat it when I'm ready. So I have 80 grams cream of rice. I'm going for the chocolate fudge. I think I put about 200 ml in this one of water. Oh, two, 218 today. <laughs> I did used to mix all my whey into it, but I'm obsessed with the whey paste now, so I'll do it for everything. So then I tip this on. It's like chocolate pudding. So that's my whey paste done for my pre. Right, so I just have 50 grams cream of rice for my pre-workout. And um, I've actually gone up in the world and I uh, treated myself to lint. So I have 10 grams of this. I know it's a lot of like stirring and preparing Oops. but at least I enjoy it, it's nice. Whoopsie, oh, I need you to frozen berry. Perfect, drizzle the way on. Great, every last bit. Okay, so 
first workout done, ready to eat. But when I've finished, pre workout, lovely. Actually, looks quite nice, doesn't it? Finished. Mm. So, I've just finished my pre workout. Um, so, it's just gone two o'clock. I'm training, I think we've got it around my mouth. <laughs> I'm training um, Lex at Ultraflex Rotherham at three with Megs and Loz. So on all of my compound movements now, it's my rep range has gone to 10 to 12 and only one working set. Um, <laughs> my, eye, my eyes, my eyes, my eyes are like an <laughs> um, I kept the same, so the same sets and reps for those. Um, so we're just going for a slightly lower volume. Uh, <laughs> there will be no probably big numbers or anything today. This week is just to ensure fullness um, and protect my joints, make sure I don't get any injuries um, as I am five days out from my first show. So hopefully I won't regress in anything, but it's not a week to be pushing the numbers and trying to beat the log book this week. So um, I'm gonna cut here because Arnie is going mental with <laughs> my slippers. So we'll see you in the gym. Arnie. <laughs> just come to see Babette to pick up my bikini for my first show um, I'm not gonna show it yet I'm gonna save it for the day so let's go so um, we're just gonna cook our 
which is 100 grams of turkey. I'm going to do a little bit extra, so I've got my first two turkey meals for tomorrow and um, some veg, but I'm just going to do my fresh veg today and then fresh veg for tomorrow. So I'll just um, cook it all, weigh it all, and then whatever's spare, I'll just give to Arnie because his, uh, his meals haven't come yet. Weigh out my 100 grams of veg. I don't know if you've ever used one of these before, it's a spiralizer. So good. It makes courgette feel like you're eating noodles. So when this is released, this actual YouTube series, you will probably already know if I have placed or not in the Ben Weeder Classic. So I really hope that I do, and I really hope that I do really well but I don't actually know if they're going to like my physique as I was a toned figure athlete so myself and Cuba decided to switch over federations and switch over classes in I think it was May or even June literally just as my prep was about to start we thought that it was the best decision as my main goal right now is to become an IFBB pro in the most well recognized federation so that's that's the next pathway i need to go so i needed to compete with with the ifbb two bros to uh, try and achieve that so i just hope that i do really well so but i do really like the bikini class so fingers crossed that they like me as well so i've got my 100 grams of berries then i put them in the microwave for two minutes because i like to really defrost them so they turn into like mush jam 200 grams of nut percent greek yogurt go with your whey paste again for the fourth time today So now that's really runny, so you use your berries to flavour your Greek yoghurt basically. And then, tip your lovely, lovely, lovely whey paste on top. Meal six. I'm just going to do a quick wrap up whilst Arnie is behaving. Um, and tell you a little bit about what I will be documenting. So basically, uh, we will be documenting my road to hopefully becoming a professional athlete. So after the Ben Weeder show, I will be competing in the Alicante show. And then five weeks after that, I think it's five weeks, the Romania show. Um, so fingers crossed, I will get my pro card. But if not, I will keep going to um, hopefully achieve that goal and um, keep documenting my journey, my bodybuilding journey so far. So yes, if you watched it this far, thank you so much. Please like, subscribe and comment. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, my handle is at PhoebeGoodwin1. So thank you.